very bad. I don't know why. Okay, this one was nice. Like I said before, I'm now focusing more on my follow through and I shot here at the target face at yeah, a bit over 30 yards and at the buffalo close to 45 yards. So the target face here I mixed the carbons and the wood arrows quite okay and the buffalo we have two to three quite good ones and one is bad and this was the one where I kind of messed up the follow-through and it of course doesn't come out the arrow that uh, doesn't come out um, clean of, out of the bow. So remember your follow through. This is so important. Follow through the shot. Didn't sound good. That didn't sound good. A bit high on this one. Nice one. Okay, let's have a look. I shot the buffalo for the three yards and I shot the I don't know what that is in English. It's not an elk, I will show you. Is it an elk? I don't know. You guys tell me in the description what that is. That is a buffalo. Yeah, I had, I'm quite happy with the group here, but I'm slightly high. But I was happy with the follow through on those shots. And there I have this target here. Tell me what that is in English. <laughs> it's a big, big deer. I only know the German word for it, but not the English. Yeah, I have two nice shots here, so I'm quite happy with that. This is more than 45 yards. I used the carbon arrows because I know behind this target we have rocks and stuff that breaks arrows. So I like to shoot the carbon ones. These GT threads here, 600, because they are quite tough and don't break as easily as my spruce wood arrows. Yeah. I'll shoot some more. Maybe put it in this video.
nice line, happy with that. Nice one. Ooh, nearly over it. Quite alright. That was a perfect one. Right in the middle. That one also nice. No. Had a nice line though. Sixty yards. You can see here. Oh, my finger. <laughs> we have two nicely centered. Three are a bit low. One is high, and the last one that I shot went under the target. Still happy.